Welcome to Electron Line. Before we discuss some additional properties of the divergence in the curl, we want to be familiar with what we call the Laplace operator. If we take the del operator and square it, in essence, we're multiplying it by itself via the dot product. And so when we write out what the del operator looks like, and we put in the dot product, we then understand when you multiply these together, the i, j, and k components drop out, and we simply multiply the x components together, the y components together, and the z components together, which in essence then becomes the second derivative with respect to x squared plus the second derivative with respect to y squared plus the second derivative with respect to z, and which of course these are the partial derivatives of these. And then, if that is what we call the del operator, which can be written like this then, we can then apply the del operator to either a function of x, y, and z or a vector field of x, y, and z. If we apply it to a function, then notice we take the partial second derivative of the entire function with respect to x, the partial second derivative of the entire function with respect to y, and the second derivative of the partial derivative with respect to z, and add them all together. But if we apply the del operator to a vector field, then we take the second derivative with respect to x of only the x component of the vector field plus the second partial derivative with respect to y of only the y component of the vector field plus the partial derivative with respect to z or the second partial derivative with respect to z of only the z component of the vector field and then add those together. Notice in either case you'll end up with a scalar quantity. So when, a, when the Laplace operator is operated on a function, then you get a scalar quantity. And if you have the Laplace operator applied to a vector field, then you also end up with a scalar quantity. But the process is different depending upon which of the two you operate on. And on the next video, we'll see some examples how, how to actually do that. And that's what we mean by the del operator. Oh, and that's what we mean by the Laplace operator. <laughs>